Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha. If today's the first time on this channel, you will. Okay. Come Okay. Like, you guys are so welcome. And if this isn't your first time, I love you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Anyway, today, let's just talk. Like, let's talk. Okay? Um, what do you guys want exactly from girls? Like, now, this is a legit question because I don't know what is it that you guys want. So, the guys, if you're here, please tell me what exactly you guys want from girls. Because, man, I just had one story now, now, and, you know, I've been having a headache. As in, suddenly, my head has been banging. And I don't even know why I'm drinking Panadol for another person's headache. But then again, this could also be my headache, so let's just assume that I have a headache right now for this issue and we're trying to get myself Panadol, so you guys will help me out with the Panadol. You know what, let me just just you guys the story that I was told just now and then we'll come back to the answer to my question, okay? So, um, first of all, this guy met this girl, he asked her out, perhaps the girl had like big boobs and big ass or whatever, <laughs> and then he asked her out, Sha, and then next thing the girl is forming hard to get now that is so typical of us girls like we like to form hard to get and it's not a big deal like i don't think it's a big deal like for me hard to get because i mean they just say you're a cheap girl and you're this and you're that so sometimes you just want to form like oh um i'm not interested even though like man you like the guy like die okay but you just want to form hard to get now this girl was from hard to get but her mistake which i think is a mistake you know was like she took you over the board and you know her own heart to get was now on like another level me i've not gotten to that level if you have gotten to that level just let me know in the comment section me i'm still learning how to form how to get okay so this girl's heart to get was like on another level like she was so difficult to talk to and the guy really really liked her you know at some point she now gave the guy listening ears and everything and then you know they were talking and she was like oh no i'm not ready for any relationship except we're talking about marriage blah 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 i want to take my life serious like i'm done you know dating girl i'm you know i'm done dating guys and just being with guys for fun and everything and you know they just sleep with her and then they move on and da 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 she gave the guy all the stories as to why she doesn't want a regular relationship and why she just wants to you know be a guy who is ready to get married to her now that brings me to the marriage syndrome why do girls feel the need to be with a guy and then the next thing they're thinking about is married like why have you asked yourself if the guy is ready you know you guys have to like be with yourselves for some you know period of time before you start talking about Oh, marriage 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 everybody wants to get married I want to get married you want to get married you know and everything but <sighs> It shouldn't be like some sort of pressure like you just put the pressure on a guy once you meet the guy like bah guy this is how it is if you want to date me we're going to get married i don't think that is right because you don't even know the guy you don't know where he's coming from like he doesn't know who you are and where you're coming from so you guys you know need to like bond first before talking about marriage like ugh. man anyway now this girl says she wants to get married and then the girl's like um okay you want to get married so you're not going to date me until I'm ready to get married to you and then she's like yeah i'm like oh okay and then the truth is this guy just wanted to i was going to say the word but mm -mm. the guy wanted to have sex with a girl you know and of course like guys let me let's not lie okay let's not lie once a guy sees a girl first thing that he gets attracted to is the physical appearance so it's not really about what you have in your head you know for guys the way it works is they get attracted to what they see and then the next thing is that what you have in your head and you know what you have to offer. Unlike girls, when you see a guy who, who is looking all fresh and fly, you just might not be attracted to, to him. You know, that's just how we are wired. Like girls do not necessarily have to be attracted to you at the first day, you know, of you guys meeting yourselves. But guys get attracted to what they see. And so this was the case of this guy. Apparently he had just seen her. He liked her shape. Maybe she was like figure eight, you know, or, you know, even, you know, more snatched than figure eight and everything. And he just wanted to sleep with the girl, you know, say he really likes her, but then that wasn't the first thing in his head. He actually wanted to sleep with the girl. And now since the girl doesn't want to sleep with him and she's bringing all the married drama and everything, he's like, okay, cool, let's get married. Like, really? Like, you just met me and you want to get married to me? Of course, he didn't say it that day, but you know, after a while of, after a period of time when the girl was from her to get and everything, he figured that that was actually what she wanted and then he gave her what she wanted. So it's more like saying he gave her a dose of the drug she was asking for. So she wanted marriage and then he brought marriage to her on the platter of gold. What's 
wrong with you, Beta? You don't even know the guy. Like, you don't know where he's coming from. You don't know his past experiences with girls. And then the next thing you're bringing to him is you want to get married. Look, as a girl, when you're getting into any relationship, you need to focus on the value you are going to be adding to the guy's life. You know, and the value he is going to be adding to your life. And not bringing marriage straight up. Like, it is so annoying. And let me tell you guys something. I was having this conversation with a friend of mine several months ago and i'm pretty sure he's going to watch this um shout out to you because you actually inspired this video um he was telling me something about guys you know guys always just want to get into your pants like it's just legit they always just want to get into your pants however they can actually show you some respect you know by getting to know you first you know and forming all nice and chilled you know taking you to all those dinners and everything you know but last last what they want is to enter the pants Okay, you know, but I feel like there are ways to, you know, sort of handle these issues because if you actually make a guy understand that, oh, look, I like you, you know, but I cannot have sex with you until marriage or until, you know, you guys have that conversation. If he really, really likes you, he's going to stay. But he, if he doesn't want that, then, you know, he's going to move on and, you know, pick another girl and, you know, you just move on with your life. But do not make it a do or die affair when it comes to relationships that, Whoever you are dating, you must, you must get married to like, baby girl, that's not how it works. Now, this is the reason I asked the question initially, you know, about what guys want. Because it feels to me like every guy just wants to get in your pants. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but on a scale of 1 to 10, 8 out of the 10 guys actually just want to sleep with you. The other one just wants to have you as, you know, a buddy. And then the other one just wants someone to talk to when their girlfriend breaks their heart. Now, this is me being realistic because, I mean, I've been around a lot of guys and I know the way they think. You know, I feel like the advice I should be giving girls right now is the fact that it's okay for you to like be dating somebody and then you guys are working towards marriage, okay? But don't bring the marriage syndrome as the first thing, you know, even before getting to know the person. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that, okay? Because guys can do anything to get into your pond. They can even go as far as getting engaged to you meeting your parents you know doing all that traditional shit and then at the end of the day they sleep with you because now you feel like oh i'm engaged to him so i can have sex with him and then you guys have sex and then the guy says oh you know what it was all a sham it wasn't real guys do these things okay it is so sad but it happens okay and i have to tell you guys so you need to be very 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 careful okay finally do not make sex make you a mother when love hasn't made you a wife i hope that makes sense to you man i sound so ah uh, better <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to share your ideas and your opinions in the comment section let's continue this conversation in the comment section guys if you think that what i've said about you guys are not true then correct me in the comment section girls if you feel like you're still confused about guys and how they think let me know. Let me know your experiences. Let's just chat about this thing, okay? I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!